In this lesson, we're going to take a look at another example involving discounts. It says if a pair of pants priced at $36 originally is marked down 15%, then marked down another 50% because they did not sell, how much are they? So, um, you know, this is a typical thing that will happen in retail. You know, something's marked down, uh, it still doesn't sell, so then it, you know, goes on clearance. And so they put a big markdown on it in addition of maybe 50% in this case. So we kind of have two stages here. And so the way to attack these problems where there's multiple discounts happening is to just take them one step at a time. So first of all, don't worry about the 50% that it gets marked down in the end. Just start with the first markdown. All right, so just pay attention to the $36 originally marked down 15%. All right, so clearly they're asking us for the um, for the sale price here. And of course, to find the sale price, we need to know how much money to take away from the $36. So we'll start off with x is equal to 0 0.15 times 36, right? Where x is the amount of the first discount. Okay, and so that just requires that we multiply, no algebra involved there at all. So we've got 5 times 6 is 30, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18, and 6 and 3. So we end up with 5.4, dollars 40 cents. All right, so that's the amount of our first discount. Okay, but now to move on to the next part and apply the 50% discount, what we really need is what the price is after the 15% discount. So the price after the 15% discount, of course, is just the difference of 36 and 540, right? Which is, I should probably do that over here. Add a couple zeros after the decimal point in 36. So that'll be $30.60. Okay. So now we can worry about applying the 50% discount. Okay, so we take 50% off of this number. And so again, we're, we need to know the amount. And I don't wanna use X again, even though we tend to use X a lot, uh, because I used it earlier, so there's nothing wrong with using another letter. So this time our unknown is gonna be Y. And so a Y is going to be the amount of the second discount. Okay, so we know that y should equal 50% of 30, and I'm just going to say 30.6 here, of course, because that's the same as $30.60. And so we just need to multiply those. All right, so we get 15.30, so y equals $15.30. Now it turns out that uh, this is the uh, final price that it sells for uh, because when you take 50%, of course, uh, you know, the amount of the discount is going to be the same as the sale price, right? Uh, but if this was anything other than 50%, what we would need to do to, to finish the problem would be to say, you know, the price after the 50% discount, which is going to be the answer to our question, is of course the difference between 3060 and 1530, but that also happens to be $15.30.